Team Rabbits of the MJP, in recognition of your remarkable feat at Undina Base, we award you with Level 3 Order of Merit Medals. For real? I guess so. The young heroes obtained our first big victory since the Global Defense Force began fighting in the invasion of the Wolgaru. They defended Undina Base, which we were going to abandon, and drove the superior Wolgaru force to retreat. It was truly a great day and will be remembered. My goodness, this certainly makes the pre-academy a rousing success. As a member of the Pacific Rim India Alliance, I'm glad we saw them carry this mission out, Captain Simon. I think I can say that the MJP is finally bearing fruit out there. By comparison, it almost looks like we were throwing our old probes, shuttles, and landers at the Wolgaru. That's a bit optimistic. By all rights, the Wolgaru had an easy victory before retreating. It's too soon to tell if they're worth the expense, sir. Indeed. The MJP needed a massive budget to create children who can fight our battles for us. It's all they've been asked to do. We've stripped them of their identities and childhoods to make this happen. The whole thing is just sick. Okay, that's enough, Amine. The purpose of the MJP was to create human beings better suited to the rigors of working in space and not, as you put it, a sick super soldier experiment. Lieutenant Amine, kindly restrict your expressions on this matter. The MJP is under enough media scrutiny and this fire does not need any more fuel. Of course, I I'll am let the terribly captain know sorry, about the press we're conference. swamped with requests for interviews. I hate to say it, but we cannot give you one anytime soon. Yes, I'm very sorry. <sighs> you know, I bet they're not letting the guys over at Undina base have a minute's rest <laughs> either. Good day. Please present your questions to the team one at a time. Uh, I'd like to go first if I can. What exactly are you? Uh, were those machine seeker weapons of some kind? The pilots you see are currently enrolled in the Garan Seer Cosmopolitan Academy. They are members of the MJP. Well, what does MJP stand for? Military Junior Pre Academy. It's an organization that trains future officers. The Ashami units they pilot use the GDF's cutting edge frames, but the specifications are classified. Uh, then I have another question for everyone in the MJP. How did you feel when you were ordered to fight in that mission? Uh, right. It was a true honor to go into... Uh, Asagi, what's wrong? My stomach. The stress. Anyone else? I felt the same. Tamaki. That was a huge hit, Tamaki. Wow. Check out all these comments! Suruga. Answer the man's question. Come on, man. Oh. oh, good grief. Are you okay? So what did they send you out there for? Okay, tell them. I can't. I'll answer it! My unit's primary guns are a 90mm L70 high-energy charge particle cannon and two 40mm L45 radiation-guided photon resonance anti-aircraft cannons as its coaxial cannons. I can catch any enemies in range with a Type 99 high-def 3D inverse spectroscopic uh, rangefinder that was manufactured by Imperial the Japan Optics Peter Incorporated. Didn't the plan originally call for you to pull back? Correct. Okay, so who changed your mission? Izuru. That is, Midshipman Izuru. Hitachi. Is that right? Midshipman Hitachi, what was going through your mind when you decided to stand your ground against an overwhelming enemy force? Uh, you did have a plan, right? Well, uh... <clears throat> what, uh, is that? This is the hero in a story I'm writing. I guess you could say I felt like this. Ah, oh, jeez. Tell us what your favorite food is. Chicken Do curry! Do you have a boyfriend? I really want one! <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, but the team can't spend time answering personal questions. They are extremely tired, so we are going to call it a day. Thank you for coming. Wait, let us take some pictures of them with the base as the backdrop. Is that okay, Miss Manager? <laughs> Manager? Uh. Thank you so much. Are these some 
some of the people we saved? Oh, wow. <sighs> Such a salty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awesome! I'm totally pooped. Now I can get oh. off my feet. <laughs> my stomach hurts. We're all over the news. There's the school. Put it away. It's making me sicker, man. Here. Huh? Yeah, it's one of my leader jobs. Playing my bartender and nurse is not a leader job. <laughs> it's so great that everyone survived. Considering how you tried to get us killed. We're lucky the wool guru didn't massacre us. Stupidest idea ever! And what the heck is up with this? Heroes. They're calling us the Majestic Princes or something. Why is that? Because of the letters MJP? Now that is freaking ridiculous. Why would they call me a prince anyway? <sighs> Can you just hold it down? The world is filled with too much noise as it is. But dude, Izaru, you were awesome back there. Yeah, it's like you became someone totally different. You think I really changed? Huh? Into a hero? You gotta be kidding me, man. Something happened to the rest of us. I wasn't the only one who felt it. Yeah, I guess it was like I felt a power surge in my Ashimbi while we were out there. That was the Juria <laughs> system. The Juria system was built using your DNA as its base. DNA molecules do whatever they can to survive. It's the basic unit of survival instinct. Survival instinct made the Ashimbi stop in mid-flight and then try to flee. But an Ashimbi will also take initiatives as your adrenaline surges and it overcomes the same fears you do in fight or flight situations. So, like when it picked a weapon without any commands? That was the Juria Systems doing. You could say that an Ashimbi also pushes beyond its specifications in the middle of a heightened battle as well. It can injure itself, so be careful. The Juria system has the same fight or flight instinct as you do. However, as pilots, you can neither flee too much nor fight too much on the battlefield. You are ultimately responsible for disciplining your individual units. And that's the briefing. You got it? Yes. If there are no questions, Team Rabbits, I order you to remobilize. Huh? I need you to replace Undina's destroyed transmission satellites. <sighs> now then, about your Ashimbi units... What happened to them? After seeing your performance out there, we've had a group of sponsors offer financial backing. No. A camera will be there to gather footage, so do your best to make sure it can see those logos. Huh? But Commander, we're not some freak show. Yes, I know, but we need to do this to put a positive face on what we're doing. Roger that! So, do you think it'd be okay if I drew something awesome on my Ashimbi unit? Of course you can't. Those are ads, not doodles. Could you be more dorky? This is Godinian, requesting departure clearance. Godinian, this is the Yard Master Fort Gates when you're ready. Clear for departure. All ranges Auxiliary green. power to standby. Engine room, Disengaging the main from turbines port power on. sources. Internal generators Auxiliary taking power over. Power ready, sir. All airlocks and hatches secured. Pressure rising. Turbines engaged. Main engine military power. Blast off! Thanks for all your help. It's not a problem. It did kind of take a beating the last time you took it out, though. Anyway, we got both it and the new paint job running okay. Good luck out there today. Oh. High five! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mayu. He's a guy. He's gonna get in the cockpit and handle his business. No, uh -huh. you're good. You don't have to say anything. Saddle up, okay? Uh, right. Good luck. Oh. Hey, boss. Take care up there. <laughs> the interstellar dust around Undina is denser than elsewhere. It is rich with metals that broke off from the small M-type planet. Space dust can easily interfere.